welcome back to my channel and today we have an animators collection figure unboxing now this says it's a deluxe figurine playset and this is 25 pounds from the disney store they did used to do an even bigger playset which had a few more characters in but you can't actually get hold of that anymore this is the only one that they currently do in the uk disney store so this is the one that I have. So I'm going to open it and we can have a proper look at all the figures. Now I think I might need some scissors for this so let's have a look how we get into it. Oh there we go. So there's some sellotape at the bottom here. So, I think if I just take this sellotape off it sh bottom should actually just slide off which is actually quite good. So let's see. Now I've actually had this playset for quite a while, my husband bought it me for Christmas but I haven't had anywhere to put them so they've just been sat in the box in my craft room on the floor for eight months now so I think it's definitely time to get them out. I've had some shelves put up in my craft room now so I have room to put them out so I'm really looking forward to unboxing these and getting them on display. Okay, so we've taken all the cell tape off, so I think now this should just come off. I'm not sure. Let's see. Ah, so that lifts that up. But you still have to get this off. I think you're supposed to perforate this bit. It's got like a perforated edge going around it. So maybe if we perforate this, then it comes out. There we go. So we've got that off now, and this should just slide out, hopefully. Let's see. There we go. go there is the set so these are all fastened in with some wire so yeah so these are all fastened in with this wire so I'm just going to untangle all of this so we can get them out Okay, so I've now untangled all the little wire bits, so they should now pop out. So let's see if we can get them out. They are not easy to get out. There we go, we have Pocahontas up. There she is. I'll just get them all out and then we'll have a proper look at them once we've got them all out of the box. Snow White. 
scissors this bit. Rapunzel. So yeah, there's Tiana and let's see if we get this, get this out. They are stuck down the bottom here. It's Cinderella. Merida Jasmine Aurora or Bright Rose as she was when she was younger And finally, Mulan. So let's have a proper look at them all now. Okay, so here they all are out of the box. So now we can have a proper look at all of them. So let's firstly look Snow White. Here she is. And the paintwork on her looks really good to me. She looks really, really nice. And she's so, so super cute. She's got her red bow, she's got her classic dress with the red cape and I just think she looks super super cute and she's on like this little stand here, see her little shoes and yeah I just think she looks really really nice so yeah love her. Now I think this is probably one of my favourite ones I just love all the detail on her, I love her little costume love her hair she's got a little black headband in she's got this lovely like shawl her little basket you can see her little shoes i just think she is so so cute she's definitely one of my favorites next one is cinderella and she's wearing a lovely little blue dress she's got some little blue shoes with a little pink bow on uh, she's got a little pink band around her waist and she's got a lovely little blue bow and see a little face so the paintwork again is really really good on these don't see any flaws so yeah love that one super cute next let's look at Ariel so here is Ariel so she's got the classic seashells and she's got her lovely green tail which is sort of like pearlescent and her top is also pearlescent and then she's sitting on what looks like a rock and she's got her lovely red hair so there's her face again the paintwork looks really good on her see her tail rock so yeah i think she is gorgeous let's look at jasmine so here is jasmine she's wearing like a little pantsuit in this lovely sort of greenish color is it teal would you say i think maybe you see she's got her black hair and she's got her green headband in and then her face is beautiful love her eyes really really cute 
yeah she's really really pretty again paintwork looks really good on this maybe a bit messy here on the hair that's the only bit and she does seem to have a bit of white here actually I didn't notice wonder if that comes off no that seems to be like maybe a little flaw with how it's all a bit white around there so so here is the bell figure this is also another one of my favorites uh, there is a little flaw here there's a little patch of white on her blue dress there it also looks like when they've painted it they've splashed a bit of white paint there as well so that one does have a bit of a paint floor there there's also like a bit of plastic sticking out of her hand there so that's got a little floor on it well, she's got a lovely little basket she has some little black shoes on there's her lovely hair in a bow and she looks super cute and then her dress again is sort of like pearlescent bit like Jasmine's was a bit pearlescent and Ariel's tail was a bit pearlescent and I think Cinderella's dress looked a bit pearlescent actually I've just noticed on Cinderella didn't notice what there is a bit of a paint floor here where it looks like it's about got a bit of yellow in or something so that one does have a bit of a paint floor and there as well so I just noticed that so yeah the they all have a bit of like a pearlescent shine to them. So yeah, love Belle. She is. Next we'll look at Pocahontas. So here she is. She does have a few marks on the front. She's got a white mark here. Yeah, that's a white mark. She's got a little black mark there and another white mark there. Uh, her face looks really really nice no flaws on the face and there's her lovely black hair uh, she does look I don't know if you can tell on here but this is like blue marks on her hair I'm not sure if you pick it up there's a blue mark here some blue marks here I don't know if that's just the way the black colour goes or if it's been splashed with a bit of blue Let's see if I can focus in on it you see it a bit better there, the blue. But yeah, so that's got a bit of a paint floor on that one. Actually also up here, there's some blue paint there as well. There, there you go, you can see the blue paint there on her hair. So yeah, she does have some, there you go, you can see it better there, the blue. So she has some paint floors on her. Here is Mulan and straight away I've noticed she's got a big white blob of paint on her head so definitely a flaw there that's a bit annoying I might have to go over that with a black marker uh, but her face is really really pretty there's no flaws on her face she's wearing this lovely little pantsuit so white pants and top She's got a hair in uh, braids and they look really, really cute. So she is really, really pretty. There she is. That's Mulan. Next, we're going to take a look at Rapunzel. So here is Rapunzel. She has her lovely green eyes and she's got her little freckles. It's really, really cute. She's got lovely hair. It's like a pearlescent goldy colour. She's really, really long. Um, I'm not noticing any major paint flaws on this one. There's a little bit here. I don't know if you can pick it up here. Where you can see that lighter purple has gone into darker purple. Uh, but I think that might be it. She's got a bit of, um, you can see here, a bit of plastic, extra plastic there. Or is it, well, she has not been painted very well, but let's see if I can focus in. You can see there, that patch there. 
other than that she looks okay so yeah there is Rapunzel And now let's take a look at Tiana. So here is Tiana. She's got her little green crown on and she has her hair in pigtails. So they are really, really cute. Um, let's take a look at her face. So the paintwork on her face looks really, really nice. Doesn't look like there's any flaws there. Uh, let's have a look at her dress. Okay, so again it looks a bit pearlescent her dress she's got a little green bow there and she's wearing little black shoes if you, again it seems wherever they've used black there seems to be like a problem where it's gone sort of blue and if you can see on her shoes here she's got blue marks on them so yeah I think it's nothing to do with the black but anyway there she is so she's super super cute And the final one is Meredith. Now she is the most detailed one and she is definitely the heaviest. She's the only one that her and Rapunzel actually don't come out. I didn't show that. Rapunzel here doesn't have a stand. You just see her feet and her hair holds her up. So she does not have a stand and neither does Meredith. All the rest have stands. But Meredith is the heaviest. She is really pretty. I think she might be one of my favourites actually. So here is her face, no paint problems on her face, she can see she's got little freckles and blue eyes, she's got her lovely green dress on, she's carrying her bow and she's got her arrows as well and look at all that gorgeous hair, she is really really pretty. There we go, so yep yeah, there is Merida. So I'm just going to put them all back together and we'll have one final look at them. So here is a look at all the figures together. And they just look so cute all together. Super cute. Love them all. Can't wait to put these up in my room. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you again soon. Bye.